Hey guys, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to create your presentation on Famous Americans in Google Slides. So once you click the link into Google Classroom, it'll open up this document, um, this boring document that I outlined all the slides that you need. So I have a title page for you and then a page for each of the different determining importance questions that you answered in your research. So it's already there for you and you just have to add in the information. So the first thing that you're going to do is put all your information in. We can go back and add fun things like changing the theme and colors and text size and all of that later. Um, but for now, we're just going to include our information. So I'm going to do one on Barack Obama so that you can't copy me, um, but you can still see what it is that you're supposed to do. So I'm going to add in his name and then my name at the bottom. And I'm going to go through and I have added in the header as the determining importance question, but you can feel free to leave that or to change it to whatever you want. So like I could do this as family background and then I can go through and I can add in some information about him. So um, for this one, I'm going to do a bulleted list. So up here at the top, if you click this little um, three dots, three lines, it'll create a bullet list. So I can add things like he was born in Hawaii um, on August 4th. 1961 his dad was from Kenya his mom was from Kansas whatever information I have again I'm gonna go through really quick you're obviously gonna have more information and more research than me for yours but I don't need that extra text box so I'm just gonna delete it um, this one I'll call schooling again you can change it or not either way um, and then I can add in my information and this time I'll write a sentence. So I'll do President Obama went to Harvard Law School and became a lawyer. Um, for this one we'll do important experiences. Leave those words and just take out the unnecessary things so that it's a simple main idea. Uh, and then he was elected senator of Illinois. Um, if you ever see these little squiggly red lines, it means that you've spelled something wrong. So if you go and click on it so that your cursor is there, you see it blinking, um, and then you two finger click, it'll open up this extra window. And at the very top, it'll say, did you mean? And it'll give you suggestions of what it thinks that you're trying to spell. So yeah, that's how I should have spelled Senator. So I can click it and it will automatically change it to the correct spelling for me. Use it carefully, but it's a good way to go through and check your spelling. Um, you are in second grade, so spell it the best that you can. It's okay if you have some squiggly lines, but um, you can feel free to use that tool. And then for these other ones, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste some information that I already wrote so that we can have these full um, and a character trait and then maybe a fun fact that he has two daughters all right so once I have all of my information again I have a lot less information that you will um, because you will do days of research on this um, you can go back and you can start changing the presentation um, for visual impact. So the first thing that you can do is come over here on the side and pick a theme. So if you click one of these, it'll change all of your slides to reflect the theme that you pick. So you can kind of click through and see which one you like. Uh, that one's kind of cool. I like this one. Um, so I can go through and I can start um, seeing how that looks on each one of my slides and I can kind of click through and see how it is This changed the color to be yellow, which I feel like is kind of hard to read so I could come up here and I could change the font Maybe back to black or to blue something that's a little bit easier to read That one changed too. maybe for this one instead I'll change the text box itself so you can see this blue line is the text box I can come up and I can change what the text box is so I could make it like, I don't know, black. Um, so those look good. This one changed colors too. So let me go back. I'll let that one be like a dark red. 
And then I think I'll go and I'll start adding pictures. So if you come up here into where it says insert at the very top here, and the very first one says image, um, it'll open up a new drop down. And if you click search the web, it'll open this side screen and you can actually just type in your famous American or whatever it is that you're wanting to search. And it will search Google for you right here in Google Slides. And then you can pick the picture that you like the best. So like I like, I like this first one. And once you see that little um, blue check mark, you can come down here and click insert and it'll go ahead and put it straight into your presentation for you. So obviously that's too big, but I can resize it by coming up here to this um, little blue square and I can change the size of the picture and I can kind of drag it around to where I want. So I can do that for these different ones. This one, he was born in Hawaii, so maybe I'll do a picture of Hawaii and make sure that I have the blue dots. I like this one. I can insert it. I can move it around to where I think it looks good. Maybe I'll move my text around. I could highlight it and change the size. And we can see it, this picture kind of cropped it off, so I need to move that over. Maybe I'll make it smaller. And then I can keep going. So I'm not going to change every page, but just so that you have an idea. Um, maybe I'll do one of his family here. Search the web, and I can do the Obama family. Those are cute. Remember, I want to make sure that I have that blue circle. And then I can click insert. And then up here at the top where I see the square, you can see that my um, arrows change when I hover over that square to that little arrow. Once I have that, I can drag it to be whatever size I want. And then this, you can see this is kind of hanging off the edge into this gray space. When you come up here and click present, you'll see what it looks like when you share it with the class. Anything that's off of this yellow or this white um, box and into this gray space, it'll get cropped off. So like if I did it up here, their part of their heads would get cropped off. So we don't want that. We want to make sure that it's all the way in this rectangle. Um, so I can resize it. And... I can add all kinds of different things. So if I wanted to add another text box here, I could come up here and click that T, and then I could start typing his family. Um, I could add in a shape, like a little call out, or I could say, if I double click in it, you can type, I'm married to Michelle. Um, and I can highlight that. I can change the, well, it's kind of hard to read. Change the font to something that's easy for my people that I'm presenting to. I can change the size of it. I can change the color. And then I, I my other box got hidden, so I can move that over and kind of change where that's shown. Maybe I'll make it like it's a caption underneath. I can move that here. Remember, anything that hangs off onto this gray space, you won't be able to see, so you want it to go on top. Um, and then if your pictures were overlapping weird, you could always right-click again, and you can click Order, and you can change where it's positioned. So if I click Send it back, oh, let me actually click Chain, oh, do you see how I'm, I'm clicking random places and this blue square is appearing? This blue rectangle is showing me that I'm in this text box. So if I wanted to make sure I can click my picture, I can make that text box smaller. Do you see how I did that? And then it'll let me click the picture. And I know that I've clicked the picture because the blue is around it. And then I can change the order, bring to front, and then now this is above that, or I can send it back. Um, I can send it back by coming up here and clicking undo. That undo button's easy to, like if for example, you accidentally delete some of your slides, you can click undo and they'll reappear. So that's a good one. Um, all right, so I think it looks pretty good. I go through and I practice it again, make sure it all looks good, sounds good. Um, and then I'd be ready to present. Make sure you raise your hand if you have any questions and I'll see you later.